Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Any table can be sorted using any of the fields available. Sorting is one of the main reasons that you create tables. It allows you to easily organize information in the table records. By default, Excel can sort alphabetically or numerically in either ascending, meaning A to Z or 1 to 9, or descending, meaning Z to A or 9 to 1 order. It will sort from top to bottom by default, but it can also be set to sort from left to right if necessary. You can sort a table by the values within a single column in a table, or by the values within multiple columns. When you sort data, you need to choose the fields used to sort the data and the order used to sort the data. For example, if you primarily sorted a table by the last name field, there might be multiple entries with the same last name. That is when applying a secondary sort, by the first name field for example, can ensure that records are sorted in alphabetical order by last name, then by first name. To sort a table by a single column, click into a cell within the column by which to sort the data. Then click either the Sort A to Z or Sort Z to A buttons that appear in the Sort and Filter button group on the Data tab in the ribbon to sort the table in either ascending or descending order by the column's values. You can perform a multi-column sort on a table by first clicking into the table and then clicking the Sort button that appears in the Sort and Filter button group on the Data tab in the ribbon. In the Sort dialog box that appears, just use the first Sort by dropdown to select the name of the first column by which you want to sort the values within the table. This is called the primary sort. To the right of that, ensure that the Sort on dropdown is set to values. Then select the desired option for the primary sort order, A to Z or Z to A. You can also choose Custom List from this dropdown. You can then add more sorting levels by clicking the Add Level button within the dialog box. You can then repeat the process using the Next Sorting Row to create additional sorting levels if desired. When you have finished adding all of the desired sorting levels into this dialog box, click the OK button to apply the sorting that you set. If you make a mistake after sorting data, you can undo it by clicking the Undo button in the Quick Access Toolbar immediately after performing a sort. You can delete sorting that has been applied to a table by simply clicking the Sort button in the Sort and Filter button group on the Data tab in the ribbon and then selecting the Sorting Level to Delete from the Sort dialog box. Then click the Delete Level button in the Sort dialog box to delete the selected sorting level. Then click the OK button when you're finished. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.